Miami Heat Nation. Hello guys, my name is Trent and over here on this channel, we are going to be covering the Miami Heat. So if y'all want to stay updated, this is the perfect channel for y'all. So make sure you drop that sub and turn on post notifications. Now I also do want to say that I did make a Miami Heat Nation Discord server. So if y'all want to go join that, the link will be in the description and also in the comments. I'll appreciate that a lot. Now in today's video, we are going to be talking about why I believe the Miami Heat should call the Detroit Pistons to make a move for Sadiq Bey. If y'all didn't know, the Detroit Pistons have made him available for trade, and now there's a lot of teams that are interested in bringing him in. Now this season, he has been struggling. He hasn't really had the greatest season, has been dealing with injuries, hasn't played the last four to five games, dealing with some ankle injuries. But not only that, when he's on the court, his defense is pretty bad. He's shooting from the three about 29%. So that's horribly, horrible low. And then also, he was bounced out of the starting lineup. Now he is back in the starting lineup now. But the fact that you got demoted just shows that, you know, you're not having the greatest season. Now, the Detroit Pistons are in a weird position right now because so far they're currently 5 and 16. But coming into this year, we expected this team to be fighting for the plan if everybody was healthy. You know, they had a perfect draft with Jalen Duran. You know, you brought in Jaden Ivey. You already had Cade Cunningham. And then also you brought in Bondanovic. Like this team was looking pretty solid. I want to say they're a playoff team, but they're definitely a playing team. But unfortunately, Cade hasn't played pretty much all year. I believe he's going to miss the whole season with his injury. And so they're in this weird position. And with Sadiq Bey, you know, he's only 23 years old. He still has plenty of growth to learn and to become a better player. And we've seen the potential last year. You know, there was a game he put up 50 plus points making double digit threes. Like he has it in this game. Just this season, he fell back. Now, even with him struggling, he's still averaging about 14.7 points a game, shooting about 40.8% from the field, which isn't the greatest, averaging about 4.8 rebounds and 1.6 assists. Like I said earlier, shooting about 29% from the three-point line. Now, but when you do look at the Miami Heat, this is another team that's struggling in the Eastern Conference that we need to make moves. So far, the last like four to five games, we've been missing a lot of our players. You know, Max Strews, Duncan Robinson, Gabe Vincent, sometimes Bam Adebayo. You know, Tyler Harrow been out for a little bit. He's officially back. Jimmy Butler's missing a bunch of time. Victor hasn't even played a game yet. Yurt Seven hasn't played a game yet. This team is dealing with a lot of injuries. And if we want to win the NBA championship, we have to make moves. This is point blank. You know, during the offseason, I was very frustrated with Pat Riley because I'm like, okay, cool. We brought back, you know, Rick Oladipo. Yurt Seven was supposed to have a big year this year. And so far, running back was not the greatest idea at all because there's 10 times teams better than us in the Eastern Conference and we need to improve our roster. And I feel like with Sadiq Bey that he's having a horrible start to the season and stuff like that, his value may be low and when you look at the Miami Heat they don't really have much to offer maybe we give the Detroit Pistons a first round pick and another player that can match the salary around there because also I do want to say the next three years you know he is going to be a freeze in 2024 but this year he's making about 2.9 million dollars 4.5 after that and about 6.4 so his salary and average is pretty solid definitely fits you know what the Miami Heat need also too on the offense end you know, another player, another big body, hopefully can improve on the defense end. That's what the heat culture is built on. But money purposes, we all know we're stuck in cap hell with Duncan Robinson's contract and Kyle Lowry's contract. So adding him won't be too, too expensive. So I'm all for it. I want to give Sadiq Bey a chance if the Detroit Pistons are giving up on him. So Miami Heat fans, you guys let me know in the comment sections, how do you feel about him? Do you want to go this direction or do you just want to go with the team that you already have and see how far it goes? But that's going to be the end of the video, man. I love you guys so, so much. Thanks for supporting me. And once again, if you haven't joined my Discord server, the link will be in the description. We are trying to grow that community as much as possible. And I'm out. Peace.